hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're looking on for the first time welcome to shaman d's kitchen and if you like all the recipes that i've been sharing with you guys give me that thumbs up leave me a comment at the bottom remember to share subscribe hit that little notification bell so you would not miss out any of my new videos and if you want to see what i'm going to share with you today come on down with me and let's have some fun in my kitchen Today I'm going to share with you how I do my tomato choker and if you're wondering what is tomato choker it is basically roasted ripe tomatoes with some additional flavor. This is how I roast my tomatoes because I do not have an outside fire and I do not put it on the stove in foil because the foil is not too healthy and I do not want that stove to be messed up. And I will leave this there for like five minutes. I'll check it back. And while the tomato is roasting at the front, I'm going to roast my garlic and my pepper. When I make my choker, I always like to roast my garlic and pepper. No matter what kind of choker I make, I love that roasted taste in there. garlic pepper let's check the tomatoes now so it starts softening up there now but it still isn't cooked properly while this is still steaming here i will crush the garlic and the pepper There you have it, nicely crushed. And here's the onion, chopped up really nice and small. So let's see how these beauties are coming along now. As you can see, it's nice and soft, but there's a lot of water to be dried up. When the water dries up, then we can get that skin nice and uh, dark brown, or however dark you would like it. So I would leave this open so that the water will dry up as you can see all the water has dried up nicely and the skin is getting some nice toasted color there down now and I'm going to use my hand blender and quickly squash this up so I'll give it a nice turn up here and as you can see, it still has some little chunks in it. And not forgetting these pieces of the well roasted skin that I love. Chipping up one blade of bandana in here and if you want you can leave out this bandana but this just adds an additional flavor which i love and i love my food with a lot of flavor in it now i have some garlic cut up this garlic nice and thin and I'm going to do the final step in preparing this tomato chuka and the final step is the 
chunking of this. And what is chunking? Just keep watching. So you heat up some oil here in your carchol or if you call it a dabu or a ladle. This is how it's done. This is how you chunky the tomatoes choker. So this oil is nice and hot now and I'm going in with the chopped garlic. And you allow this to stay in the oil until it's nice and dark brown. Then you will throw this into your bowl with the other ingredients. As you can see, it's starting to get nice and brown. I would leave this in just for a short time again. And you throw this. And remember, we did not throw salt. And there you have it, my tomato is shoka. If you like this video, please hit that like. Leave me a comment at the bottom. Let me know how you make your tomato is shoka. Maybe you make it differently and I can learn something from you as well. Remember to share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.